Now, is the state ready to administer shots to kids? The FDA approved Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children ages 5 to 11 last Friday. The CDC is meeting today, and approval could happen by this afternoon. So let's get right to it with the Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, Doc. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm doing great. Now, earlier this morning, we saw that the Kapilani Medical Center is already prepped to give out shots because many parents are wondering when can their kids get vaccinated and how would it be administered and distributed? It looks like uh, the week of November 8th, which is next week, we should be up at full strength for our Surgeon General. We're excited about that. We've already ordered the doses. Kapilani will help us lead the way because they take care of kids better than anyone. And we expect uh, the 119,000 children who are aged 5 to 11 to be eligible and rocking and rolling. Now, people should call their pediatrician to make sure it's right for them. Uh, I've got an 11 year old here at home, Sam, who's crawling around right around me as we speak, and he's um, going to be getting vaccinated. So it's coming, and it'll come at schools and hospitals pretty much everywhere. Now, Lieutenant Governor, according to a recent survey from the Kaiser Family Foundation, most parents are hesitant to get their young kids, ages 5 to 11, vaccinated. Why do you think that is? Well, people always worry about children the younger they are. And we saw this with adolescents. We thought at first there would be fewer adolescents getting vaccinated in Hawaii than ultimately did. About 70% of all of our adolescents aged 12 to 17 have gotten fully vaccinated. I thought it was going to be closer to 50%. Uh, it's just a matter of people having more caution for young people. As you know, we are now at 95% for all of those in our state who are eligible have started the vaccine, but it's a lower rate as you get younger. I think ultimately it's going to be somewhere toward about 50% of our kids, 5 to 11, that get vaccinated, and parents will just have to make that choice for their families. Now, starting tomorrow, indoor and outdoor seated events can operate at full capacity as part of Mayor Blangiardi's loosened restrictions. But... Restaurants, bars, and gyms were not included because they're still operating, operating under state mandates. What must they prove to the governor to get 100% capacity? Well, that's a battle that's going on, uh, and I think it's a, a, uh, a gentle battle that's going on between the mayor and the governor. The governor is more cautious than the mayor. The mayor uh, feels it's safe. I also think it's time that we begin to move forward on restaurants. Restaurants are the lifeblood of our economy in many ways. A lot of individuals make their earnings and living uh, working in restaurants. And because we are so well vaccinated and because we have a good program where you have to be vaccinated to go into restaurants, I really think it's time we move forward. I know that the mayor has put in that request to the governor and the governor's trying to do things incrementally. But uh, for my uh, purposes, I think we are safe and we should start moving uh, forward, opening up restaurants. Completely, that is. Now, Lieutenant Governor, starting next Monday, international travelers will be allowed back in the islands with proof of vaccination. I know the state is still awaiting federal guidance on the issue, but do you have any idea how it will work? And will Safe Travels Hawaii still apply? Yes, we spent several hours talking about that yesterday morning in our leadership meeting. The, uh, this federal uh, rule, which has people either uh, well, actually getting vaccinated with any of the vaccinations that are available internationally, plus a test, that will just be another layer. Nothing should change for the state of Hawaii except for minor tweaks. If you are traveling back from the mainland on safe travels, if you're a resident, it'll be the same for you. Put your vaccine uh, demonstration, your vaccine card into the safe travels program and you're good, or get the pre-test within 72 hours. This is just another layer. And honestly, the federal government took a lot from uh, the Hawaii safe travels program. So we're very proud that they look to us for guidance in many ways. But should not be many changes. The key difference is going to be that international travel approvals will include all of the vaccinations like the AstraZeneca and the others that we're not using in our state. All right, there you have it, Dr. Green. And of course, he'll be joining us in a few minutes to answer your Facebook questions. Thank you very, very much, Lieutenant Governor. We'll see you soon. You bet.